Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. Last time, Sigma and Phi made it through the security room. Today, the aftermath, where Phi wants us to wait. I just realized something. What's that? When we were looking at the security footage earlier, we were just looking for live feeds. We were trying to figure out where the others are, what they were up to, if they were alive, and so on. But we totally forgot that security systems like this can do more than show you live footage. Oh, past footage. Are you following me? Oh, shit. Yeah. You're talking about stuff that's been recorded, right? Footage of the past. If they store that, we might be able to see it. Yeah. Don't know how much luck we'll have, but it's worth a shot. Oh my god, and there totally wasn't a lock along this path. I would not have known what to fucking think if I would have went with Luna first. Thank God I was horny and I was like, ooh, Alice, yeah, we'll, we'll go with her. It was like, if I would have went with, like, the safe bet, the, like, most down-to-earth person who probably would not betray me, I could have been experiencing all of this on my first run-through of this game. That would have been insanity, yo. Definitely. Um, what do we do? Leave that to me. You know how to use this thing? Well, it was designed so that a human could operate it. That means there's a logic to how it's set up. A computer computes, a calculator calculates, and an automobile mobiles. <laughs> Everything's designed to do something, and once you know what, you can start guessing how. Once you start to figure out how to get it to do things, it's just a question of playing with it until it does the things you want it to. See? Monitoring video data. Looks like this is it. Good work. Knock it off. Makes it sound like you're better than me or something. No, I'm, I'm just, like, anxious to see, like, what they find. Wait. What the heck is this? Everything says no data. Hmm. Uh, let's check the log. Damn it. This isn't good. Looks like all the video data was removed before we got here. What? By zero? That would be my guess. All it says here is administrator. Damn. Well, that's a little frustrating. That footage could have told us a lot. Yeah. It might have given us what we need to figure out who the killer is, too. The camera in room two in the crew quarters would have recorded what happened to Alice and Luna. Same for the old woman in the warehouse. And if there was a recording of us being carried into the AB rooms, we could have even figured out who Zero Senior is. No, but the fact that it says data removed, so that meant... It came in here and manually deleted everything, not just stopped it from recording things. Hey, what's this? You wanna open it? Yeah. It says Gollum status. That should be the system logs of those robots. I told you about them in the pantry, remember? Yeah. You mean the room full of robots on the other side of the green door? Yeah. Here we go. Shoot. Everything here has been erased too. Looks like it. I guess there isn't anything we can... Wait a second. What is it? There's a scroll bar. Try scrolling. Data available. Golem. I knew it. That golem we met is still functional. What do you mean? I thought you told me Gollum, or whatever his name was, started spitting smoke and keeled over. Yeah. But he said that his... What passes for a golem's brain, I guess, was in the main computer. Only his body was disabled. His brain is probably still functioning. 
Can we see his logs? I, I know I'm passing through the text really quickly. I'm sorry. I'm like locked in. Here you are. Just dialed in. I, I need to see that like shit's getting real. Then, hmm. Try the one that says cash. Hmm. These file names all just seem like random characters. Whatever. Just pick one and open it, I guess. Sure. This is. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is probably from right after K decked us. We'll be tossed into that white door on the left in a minute. Just watch. See? I love that he carried Phi, and then Sigma was just like, yeah, I'm dragging your ass. Interesting. This is the footage the Golem pulled from the main server. The original data was deleted, but it looks like the stuff he pulled is still here. Exactly. So, if we go back through these files... Yeah. We might be able to figure out who the killer is, maybe even who Zero Senior is. Nice. Oh my god, a genuine smile! Great work, Sigma. Come on, I told you I don't need you kissing my ass. Besides, it's not like I really did anything, Baka. We started going through the rest of the files. The security footage showed K and Dio clearly passing through the white door on the far right. Good. Looks like they're both fine. That just leaves Timioji, Clover, and Quark. Open my mouth to continue and then it happened. My vision suddenly blurred and shaking my head did nothing to clear it. I staggered, my balance gone. Oh sh Is this Radical Six? Wh what Why is she talking like that? She sounds like someone's playing a tape of her voice all sped up. What is going on here? Can't understand what she's saying. And why is she moving so fast? It's like watching a video on Fast Forward. What the hell is... Wait, could it be me? Maybe my brain is slowing down somehow. So it just looks like everything is speeding up. Um, there's... You... With you... What the heck is up with you? Look, there's a sofa over there. Okay. I still couldn't make out what she was saying, so I just nodded weakly. My eyes drifted shut as I tried to sort out what was happening to me. I woke up several minutes later. When I opened my eyes, the first thing I saw was the ceiling of the security office. I sat up slowly, rubbing tenderly at my head. Fi, who had been sitting in front of one of the monitors, stood up and walked over as soon as she heard me move. Could you imagine that there are probably people out there who played this, and this was the first path they went down? There has not been a story lock. Holy shit. You okay? We're back to normal now? Her voice sounded normal again. And she wasn't moving strangely either. Whatever had been happening seemed to have stopped. I let out a quiet sigh of relief. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah. That's good. You really looked like you'd lost it for a minute there. Well, I seem to have found it again. This is a security office. Maybe they've got a lost and found? 
Your sanity is pretty easy to miss. I'm surprised anyone found it, let alone turned it in. Heh. <laughs> well, looks like I don't have anything to worry about. Yeah. I think I must just be getting tired. Kind of surprised it didn't catch up to me sooner. I hope that's all it is. You haven't caught a disease or something, have you? For just a moment, I thought of Radical Six. But I didn't want to worry Fi if I didn't have to. Better to stay quiet about it. So wait, we know about it in this path? I mean, yeah, I guess that's what I get for taking so long in between parts of recording, but... Yeah, because they didn't put two and two together with Quark or Alice. Well, I mean, they still think Alice was murdered, not committed suicide on this path. And then Quark went missing before they could, like, diagnose him. Well, you're looking a lot better, so I can stop worrying, right? What are you, my mom? Fine. <laughs> no more check-ins. Anyway, I figured something out while you were resting. Come have a look at this. What is it? Footage from room two in the crew quarters. The room where we found Alice and Luna. I dug it out of Gollum's cache. When was this recorded? We'll see you in a minute. Up there on the right, that looks like some sort of time code. Can you figure it out? No. It's just a bunch of numbers. I can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah. The central server seems to be using its own time system. Files appear to be named based on that system. They might as well be random to you and me, which made it pretty hard to find this gem. Huh? Oh, it's K. Yeah. He looks at his bracelet here. Probably checking how much time is left. I'll just pause that and magnify it. 21 minutes. So that means this footage is from 21 minutes before the primary doors opened, right? Exactly. And that would have been the white doors in this case, right? Yes. After Kay leaves this room, it's about two minutes before he comes back with you and me. There were 20 minutes on the clock when we met up with him, right? So that means what we're seeing here is Kay one minute before he saw us? Right. That means this is right after he tried to resuscitate Luna. Yeah, if you believe him. The footage here doesn't show any of that. Are there any other angles? I looked around, but I couldn't find one. The only stuff left is shot from this position. Even so, I think we've gotten our hands on something important. You mean that this is a record of what happened right around the time of Luna's death, right? Exactly. Are you ready? Y yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll move back to the start of this file so we can see it in chronological order. Let's say this is zero hours, zero minutes. After all, it's not like we know what time it actually is. Right. So, this is the start of our footage. There's no one here. Yeah. About a minute goes by before anyone shows up. <coughs> Wait. How do you know it's been a minute? this oh that's the hourglass we used earlier yeah if I play it back at normal speed I can measure time using this hourglass then I just add the time from the hourglass and that's how far in we are huh oh someone's coming in Luna is that clover behind her yeah. This is zero hours, one minute. Right now you and I are talking to Dio in the Floor B warehouse. With the time frame we've established, calculating what we're doing is pretty easy. What's going on? 
Are they fighting? No, it's not really a fight. It looks like Clover's just going off on Luna. Luna's just staying silent and listening to her. Yeah. Can we hear them? Is there an audio track? Wanna listen to it? What the hell is this? Don't know. The audio data must have been transcoded into something else. Well, we won't be able to understand anything in that. Seen enough? I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Huh? Clover's interrogation goes on for a while, but it's all pretty much the same thing. Now, at zero hours, ten minutes, things suddenly change. Here. Hey. They're gone. As I watch, Clover moves steadily closer to Luna, who backed away almost as if she were frightened. Clover continued her advance until she disappeared below the bottom edge of the screen. Is there another? I know you said this was it. Yeah. This is the only one that I found. It shouldn't be too hard to guess what happened after you've seen the next part, though. Clover left. She looked like she was kind of panicking. Yeah. This is about a minute and 40 seconds after they both left the frame. So zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Only Clover left. Luna's still in the room. That Hold means... On. Wait until you've seen the whole thing before you start deducing. At zero hours, 12 minutes, another person comes in just missing her. Dio. He's disappeared too. Down below the bottom of the frame. What's he up to? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that whatever it was, he doesn't want us to know about it. Why? Remember what he said when you asked him about Quark? How the fuck would I know? I've been here. You're saying he was lying. Well, duh. He wasn't in the Floor B warehouse the whole time. He went to the crew quarters after we left him. Yeah. So what would have been important enough for him to lie about it? We should consider that it might have been something bad. And whatever it was, it happened during this time? Yeah, I think so. Alright, now he's left. And it looks like he left in a hurry. Maybe he heard a noise. Like what? The cyan door opening? Now, ten seconds after Dio leaves, a fourth person shows up. That brings us to zero hours, thirteen minutes, ten seconds. It's Kay. Ah. When he heard Kay open the cyan door, he panicked. Whatever he was up to, he didn't want Kay to catch him at it. And then Kay disappears too. Was it planning a bomb? Or was he trying to take something off Luna's body? Yeah, below the bottom of the frame, just like the others. If Kay was telling the truth, this is where he begins to try and resuscitate Luna. Anyway, nothing happens for the next 16 minutes. It's just this. So I'll fast forward, alright? Sure. Alright. Should be around here. One sec. Okay. You should see something you recognize in a minute here. There's Kay coming in from the bottom of the frame. And he's checking the time on his bracelet. Hmm. So we've come full circle, huh? Yeah. We're back to 21 minutes before the primary doors open. For our arbitrary time code, that's 0 hours and 29 minutes. One minute later, at 0 hours 30 minutes, Kay heads to the Floor A warehouse. Once he gets there, he'll tell us about Luna's death. That's all the footage I wanted to show you. I've looked at it carefully. 
And I think it has something to tell us. You mean who killed Luna, right? Well, I can't say for sure. This footage makes for pretty shaky evidence. But it does suggest a very likely culprit. Who do you think it is? I ran over the footage in my head. Zero hours, one minute. Clover and Luna enter the room. For nine minutes, Clover aggressively questions Luna. Zero hours, ten minutes. They both move out of frame. Zero hours, eleven minutes, forty seconds. Clover exits the room. Zero hours, twelve minutes. Dio enters the room. Dio also immediately exits the frame. It seems likely that Dio was up to no good during this period. Zero hours, 13 minutes, Dio exits the room. Zero hours, 13 minutes, 10 seconds, K enters the room. K also disappears from the camera's field of view. At this point, there are 16 minutes where nothing happens. Zero hours, 29 minutes, K enters the frame. He looks at his bracelet. It says 21, the remaining time until the primary door is open. There seems to be only one conclusion. The person who killed Luna is... It's Clover. What makes you think so? Luna could still have been alive after Clover left the room. Dio and Kay both went into the room after Clover. Either of them could have killed Luna too. Well then you're just talking in circles then by saying like, Oh, well it could have been anybody. That footage alone isn't enough to tell us who the killer is. But if we take one other thing into account, then the case against Clover gets a lot stronger. And what is that element? Dio's behavior at the White Doors. Kay wanted us to enter the White Doors. I told him I wouldn't leave three people to die. Do you remember what Dio said? Get your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. He obviously knew that only you and I would be going through the door. Do you get it? Yeah. He knew we had Luna's bracelet. Which means he also knew Luna was dead. Huh. Is that what you're getting at? Exactly. If he didn't know she was dead, he would never have said that. The moment Kay suggested we go through the doors, he would have brought it up. That's impossible. How are they supposed to get through without Luna? But he didn't even mention her, but I mean, he's also a self-centered prick, so... Like he didn't expect her to be there. Why would he do that? I can only think of two reasons. One, that when Dio entered the room, Luna was already dead. Or two, he killed Luna himself. The second one doesn't seem likely, though. If Dio had killed Luna, he probably would have made a point to hide that. I'm guessing he probably would have asked where she was. Where's Luna? Sigma and Phi won't be able to get through the white doors without her. He seems like the kind of guy who'd go out of his way to feign ignorance of a crime he committed. In this case, though, he said nothing. It doesn't clear him, of course, but it does make it a lot less likely that he was the killer. If he wasn't the killer, then we've then we're left with only one other option. When Dio entered the room, Luna was already dead. Yeah, that's how I see it. But I'm trying to also think because if Alice came to the conclusion that it was Luna who killed the old woman based on the um, rooms moving, and then Clover picked up on that too. in every path where the old woman was found dead did Luna end up dead alongside Atlas I remember in the path I found at the beginning neither of them died we also did not see an old woman in that path I am very confused But then, there were times where Clover also seemed surprised to see 
Luna did too and was like she vowed to get revenge on who did that to Alice and would make them pay. Or was Luna? No. Because it was like systematic that I was finding this out. It was like, you know, first there was an old woman dead and then, oh, now Alice is dead. And then on another path I was, so I was like, okay, now we're going to see that Luna's, or that Alice is dead in here and they're not letting me fast forward. Luna's dead too? So was, I don't know. I don't know. I am, my mind is broken right now. And it does seem like Clover had a motive. You mean what Alice noticed? Yes. The movement of the AV rooms convinced Alice that Luna had killed the old woman. Once Clover realized that, she probably started to think that Luna had killed Alice to keep her from telling anyone else the truth. She probably led Luna to the crew quarters to confront her. Maybe she hoped seeing Alice's corpse would cause Luna to confess. Maybe she knew something we don't. But Clover didn't get what she wanted. Luna didn't confess. Then, during her interrogation, something happened. It's hard to say what. Luna might have said something that set Clover off. Or, maybe she admitted to a crime she didn't commit just to get Clover to stop. Whatever it was, something happened that drove Clover to murder. When did Clover get the injection gun? I would guess after she went through the yellow door, she would have been exploring the infirmary with Alice and Kay. That seems the most likely place to find it. Anyway, this is all just a theory, right? We don't have any proof, so keep it quiet, okay? Yeah, I know. Oh, there was one last thing. Was there any other footage that showed anything? No. Nothing to tell us where Clover, Tenmyoji, and Quark went. And nothing about the old woman or Alice's murders either. So Zero Senior's identity. Still unknown. Okay. Well, let's go find Clover. I guess we're not going to know the truth unless we get it straight from the horse's mouth uh, about that. Okay, why is there like every siren in the state going off right now outside? I wonder if Clover's even alive. She is. She has to be. She's not. She won't be. I saw what happened on one ending, or yeah, Kay's ending, where you all didn't go through the white doors, and then, boom, y'all were you were you were dying, you was dead. I sure hope so. That is one long ass walk, Jesus Christ. No one's here. Yeah. All right, let's start looking. We'll go through the crew quarters and work our way toward the elevator. Got it? Yeah.
Oh lord, here we go. Okay, let me just take a little sip of the old uh, wild cherry Pepsi. You search rooms one and two. Ooh, even at room temperature, it's still somewhat cold. You can learn something from that Hawaiian punch that somehow still manages to be lukewarm, even if it's been in the refrigerator for hours. I'll take three and four. Got it. Seriously, why does Hawaiian punch never get cold? I like drinking it, but good, even with ice, it's just like, why are you warm? Why are you warm? Alice. Luna. The most horrible thing about death is how it turns a person into a thing. It's a thing that looks like your friend, but it's not them anymore. Just this strange cold shell, and every time you look at it, you feel a little of that coldness creeping in around the edges of your soul. God damn, that is actually one of the best, like, analogies about death. Seeing death puts a heavy ball of lead in your stomach that just sits there, poisoning you. I turned and left the room. No good. There's no one in three or four. What about yours? Same. Nobody in them. Except... Except Alice and Luna. The lead ball pressed against the inside of my abdomen. I leaned back against the wall and let out a long, weary sigh. What's wrong? You need to get it together. What are we doing right now? Looking for the others. Right. I know how you feel, but sitting around being miserable isn't going to help anybody. Let's go. Fai really is the best character in this. <laughs> yeah. You're right. If I turned and headed for the door at the far end, I heaved myself up off the wall and followed. First thing I felt was that strange cold sweat of terror. My stomach clenched in protest, pushing a wave of bile and nausea up into my throat. The lead ball turned to ice and my legs began to tremble under its weight before they finally gave way and collapsed. They were dead. I could feel it the moment I looked at them, but I didn't want to believe it. They couldn't be dead. Perhaps, perhaps they were just sleeping. The cool, limp feel of their skin under my shaking fingers dashed any hope I had left. I wrapped a trembling hand around the end of the bed and hauled myself up onto it. Even when I closed my eyes, I could still see them. My heart hammered away at my ribs and my chest felt so tight I could barely breathe. I forced myself to take long, deep breaths. Finally, I opened my eyes. They were in a blind spot. What? The security camera. Remember how we didn't see anything in the real-time feed in the security room? Yeah. I guess the partition was in the way. Yeah. They are handcuffed together. Yeah. Whoever did this really didn't want them going anywhere. The chain's been looped around the pipe below the sink. They would have been trapped here when the doors closed. Why? Look. See the red marks on their wrists? From them, like, trying to fight to, trying to get, get loose? Off. So you're saying it wasn't one of them that did this? Probably not. There's a cut on Timioji's left hand. 
Looks like it's probably from a knife or something similar. Must have been deep. Then the blood on his clothes probably came from that wound. I don't see any others, at least. If this was the only one, it doesn't look fatal. I don't think he died from this cut. The penalty. When the primary doors closed, they couldn't get to them. The needles in their bracelets activated and... Yeah. You can see the marks on their wrists from where they were injected. Yeesh. The tubicurine must have killed them. Do you think that's why they were handcuffed to the sink? Mm. But then they would have needed Quark regardless, so... Are we gonna find out what happens to Quark whenever if he like whenever he went missing in this path? They wouldn't have been able to get through the white doors without Quark. If someone wanted to use the penalty to kill them. They didn't need to tie them up. Yeah, you've got a point. Hmm. What's wrong? I take back what I just said. You find something? Yeah. I bent down to pick something up and handed it to me. A cyan brace. So they found Quark. This was Quark's. Correct. And it's off, so that means it Quark is dead. There's no mistake. But if it's with them, that means he was already dead. From the Radical Six, probably. What is Quark's bracelet doing here? Wait, no, hold on. If Quark's bracelet is here, then that means... Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. No. No. This can't be happening. Not Quark. Hey, Sigma. Calm down. Just because his bracelet's off doesn't mean Quark's dead. Fair point. But still, the odds are stacked very much against him. Because you would need the cure. And I don't know if we found that in this path. But. In fact, this could be good news. A ray of hope. Ray of hope? Yeah. If Quark still had his bracelet on, then he would have ended up like Tenmyoji and Clover. But he's not wearing it. That means he might have managed to avoid getting injected with tuba curing. You mean the bracelet came off before the doors closed? Yeah. Could just mean he died before the doors closed, though. That's impossible. Zero Junior told us that they only come off when your heart stops or when you escape. Maybe he got out then. Right, he's got 9 BP. Wait, so you're saying he escaped and came back and left his bracelet here? No, that's impossible too. The junior said the number 9 door only opens once. Even if he was able to get outside, he couldn't come back in. Why do you have to be so pessimistic? Have you actually seen Quark dead, huh? You need to think positive, Sigma. Reality is what we believe it to be. Huh. <laughs> really? So you're saying this is what we wanted to happen? That's enough! Quark is definitely alive. He has to be. He has to be. I refuse to believe he isn't. I can't let an innocent kid like that get killed. I wanted to ask if she meant Clover and Timioji weren't innocent and had deserved to die, but swallowed my words. Fighting wasn't going to help us. All I could do was hope that Phi was right. Perhaps Quark was still alive. Then that would leave either Dio or Kay having to have done that. What are you doing? Examining their bodies. Tenmyoji first. 
Why? Clues. What kind of clues? To who might have killed them. Finding Quark's bracelet tells us something. If the killers saw it, that would make for an obvious motive. It had to be Dio then. With Quark's bracelet, Clover and Timioji would have been able to go through the white doors. The killer handcuffed them to the sink to prevent that. To prevent elongating the game even more so that they would be able to leave too, probably. <laughs> because Quark, no, Sigma Phi, K, and Dio, all of them just need one more AB game to be able to leave. Right. That's my guess, at least. And with them, they only have four points, so they would have needed at least three more if they're just doing straight allying each time. That's odd. What's wrong? I can't find anything. Huh? I should have found something. What? You remember when we ran into Tenmyoji in the rec room? He sprayed our wrists with luminol. I'm sure I saw him pull the spray bottle out of his pocket. Ooh, and now you can't find it. Right. You think the killer took it? I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at Clover, too. Give me a minute. And there's not much to check there. Find out down next to Clover she spoke and began to gingerly examine her corpse. And after a moment, I saw her hand stop. Look. See your thigh? Doesn't it look like there's something written there? Yeah, it does. Oh my god, and then there's blood on her finger. Are we having a Danganronpa moment here? I'm sorry, I'll have to move your leg a little bit. It's written in blood. This is genuinely fucking Don the first trial of Danganronpa. And let me guess, they're going to be like, 016? What does that mean? But it's like, wait, from her angle, that's Dio. It's written in blood. It must be Ten Miyogis. It says 016. What does that mean? Hang on. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. 016. 016. Put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I know I've seen it somewhere. You'll see that it says Dio. Just flip it and reverse it. Missy was on to the right track here. It's no use. I can't remember. I guess this is also another one of those things where it's like for Japanese people who are not used to like Roman letters, they must be looking at this like. What does 016 mean? But, you know, me and also the fact that I played Danganronpa, I'm just like, yeah, come on now. Come on. So Dio did this. Don't get my hopes up like that. Anyway, these numbers have to have something to do with the killer. She must have written them after she got hit with a soparil. There would have been a few minutes before she went all the way under when she could have done something. I think she probably used those last minutes to tell the rest of us who killed her. 016, huh? Maybe, but the only people who could have done it are Kay and Dio. Assuming it wasn't one of us, I mean. No. There's also Quark. I mean, I'm not saying he did it, just... Well, he wouldn't have had a motive. Damn it. This is hopeless. I can't keep up anymore. Everything here is a goddamn mystery. Like, what about that old woman we found? Who killed her? The movement of the AB room makes Luna seem the most suspicious. But when would she have done it? And we don't have a good explanation for why she would have wrapped the knife up in the handkerchief. And of course now Luna's dead too. So who could have killed her? The 
footage from the security camera paired with Dio's behavior makes Clover seem like the most likely suspect. But now we'll never know for sure. Elsa's killer is a complete mystery. We don't know what the hell 016 is supposed to mean. We don't have any idea where Quark's gone. Why the hell does any of, or what the hell does any of this mean? Who killed everyone? Was it Zero? Zero Senior? And who is Zero Senior? What the hell does he want? Why does this game even exist and why did they kidnap us and bring us here? While we're at it, where is this? When is this? Mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. I feel like my head's about to explode. Please, Fi, give me something, anything. A clue, a hint, come on, you gotta have something. I guess she doesn't. The luminol. Huh? I think there's a very good chance someone took the spray bottle out of Ten Miyoji's pocket. Okay, but how is that important? Oh, oh, maybe. So maybe Timmy Yoji was doing his thing of checking everybody's bracelet. They caught Dio in the act and Dio like overpowered them because I mean, yeah, there are two of them. But at the end of the day, Clover is a very tiny, like 21 year old woman. Like she looks like she's about 90 pounds. If that and Timmy Yoji is an old man, Dio is like in his like 20s or early 30s is fit and could pr like yeah probably has like some weird cult training going on well let me ask you this why do you think they took it so they could test for blood what would they need to do in order to do that they just need to spray the bottle at whatever they want to test. That's it? No, wait, you're right. Luminol reacts with organic compounds and glows, but the glow is really faint. So... So? Turn the lights off. So you need to make it dark. You have to turn off the lights in order to see if anything's glowing. And that would mean? That would mean... The rec room! Fi and I raced for the door. We weren't sure what we'd find, but we knew we were where we were going. I had a feeling deep in my gut that whatever we found would be the breakthrough I'd been looking for. Because, yeah, come to think of it, making it dark in there wouldn't really tell you much of anything. Just that maybe something was tested for in there. Come on, y'all do like a little fast travel, like jump cut thing for other stuff.
Okay, I've got questions. Everything in my head ground to a halt, even after all I'd seen a room full of corpses had a profound effect. This isn't like the uh, Radical Six ending, or Clover's ending, where everybody committed suicide with the same scalpel. Like, what the fuck? This couldn't have been Quark either, because there is no way he can swing an axe with that much force to get through K, but also, how? So that couldn't have been Dio, because he's kind of... Uh, Preoccupied. It was such a ridiculous thought that before I could stop myself, I laughed. That laugh made me think. Was laughter in this situation a defensive response designed to protect a brain from constant emotional bombardment? They say that right before an animal dies, it feels a moment of comfort. Right before death, the brain releases a huge amount of endorphins into the bloodstream. Pain is only a warning signal meant to help the body avoid death. But when death becomes a certainty, pain no longer has any use. Oh, shit. That's deep as hell. Huh. Huh, that does make sense, then, why everybody always does feel, like, comfort and why some people, like, die with a smile, because it's like... Oh, shit. I never really thought of that. In fact, that loss of pain can lead to incredible feats on the edge of death. Let's say that two species of animal come under attack from some overwhelming force. All of them are severely wounded and near death. Species A feels pain, but species B doesn't. Horrible pain felt by species A prevents them from moving, but because they feel no pain, some of species B will manage to drag their wounded bodies to safety and survive. As a result, species A is eliminated, and only species B manages to survive. This process of natural selection has been repeated for thousands, no millions of years. All creatures that walk the face of the earth are descended from species B. I'm no exception. Wow, and after... Like watching a video on like some like extinction events that happened in the history of the earth like not the um like not so much the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs but like stuff that even happened before that it's like huh th th this is like some pretty deep shit like what was it called the great killing or the great deadening or something like it, it has like the most lamest name ever but it was like an extinction event that wiped out like 95 percent of all life on the earth which means that like all of the dinosaurs and shit that were killed out that were killed off by the um the asteroid or the comet that hit was like those were descended from like the five percent of surviving life forms from that extinction event, which was like the third one that had happened. It, 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 it's insane. That's why I can look at a room full of corpses and laugh. The genes I've been given by a million years of evolution have changed my fear into ecstasy. I guess this means you and I are the only survivors. Don't make me keep saying it. Quark's still out there somewhere. Yeah. You're right. He is still out there. So would that mean he killed them? I mean, you said yourself there was no way there was a tenth uninvited player out there when Alice was killed. And we've also refuted the possibility of Zero Senior being the tenth person. And there's no way Kay is going to hit himself with an axe from that angle. There is no tenth person. The only person alive are you, me, and Quark. Only people alive, rather. That means... You're being ridiculous. Look at their bodies. There's an axe buried in Kay's back, and the spear has been thrust all the way through Dio's stomach. Do you really think a child Quark's size could do that? Alright then. Are you saying you killed them? Ugh. Are you insane? And just when would I have done that? I've been with you this whole time. She was right, I mean, aside from when she was knocked out. Or, Sigma was knocked out, rather. And from the end of the second round of the AB game, Fine and I hadn't been out of each other's sight. We'd gone through the white door, explored the security office, solved puzzles, all of it together. But then again, for her to, like, go through all that footage and know the exact points, so, yeah. But how much time did pass while he was out? No, wait. There had been one time. 
one time when I wasn't watching, the few minutes in the security office when I'd rested on the couch. Could she have snuck out then? The rec room and the security office weren't that far away from one another. If the round trip took about a minute and she killed him in four minutes, then the whole thing would have only taken her five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes, huh? Just how long had I been out? No, that wasn't really right. I hadn't really been out. I just felt like everything was being fast forwarded, probably because my mental processing speed had dropped. But how long had I been like that? It might have only felt like a few seconds to me, but it could have been much longer. And where had something like mental processing speed dropping come from? Uh, hey, what you doing there, Fi? Checking their bodies like before. I decided to start with Dio. Find anything? Yeah, two things actually. Oh. Take a look at this. A knife. Yeah. There's something engraved on the blade too. Myrmidons. Is that the name of the manufacturer? Don't know. It's not a name I've ever heard of before. But look at the handle. You've seen it before, right? This is the knife that was stabbed into Alice's chest. Right. Oh, I thought I always I thought that was a scalpel. So I just took it for granted she was committing suicide. That shit was Dio? I'm guessing because he caught wind of the fact that like she was there to catch the leader of the Myrmidons or something, or I... From the looks of it, I guess the blade is about 15 centimeters long. Let's say it's probably about three centimeters tall and three millimeters wide. Hmm. I think I've heard those numbers before. Like wound cavity, 150 millimeters. Wound length, 30 Oh my god, so that was deal. I always took for granted she committed suicide, unless she got the knife from him? Yeah! Because that was the murder weapon for the old woman! So he, like, wrapped it up, threw it away, she found it. Okay, and, and, the, and I'm guessing she committed suicide with it then. Yeah, that's it. When Luna scanned the old woman's body, those were the numbers it gave us for the wound. Hmm. Right. Well, wound cavity would be the depth of the wound. Wound length would be how long it is from top to bottom. And wound width would be how wide the flat end of the wound is. In other words... Those numbers describe the size and shape of the wound, right? Right. So if they match, then that means this knife was used to kill the old woman. Well, I was just eyeballing those measurements, so we can't be sure. Still, why does Dio have it? He must have... gotten it from Alice. I know that. What I mean is, why'd he take it? Did he want to destroy the evidence? Maybe he was the one who killed Alice. That would match up with what we saw. No, wait. Hold on a second. I'm getting confused here. Alice would have had the knife first, right? No, she found it. She picked it up when she found it wrapped in the handkerchief next to the AB room. Right. So Dio took it from her and stabbed her? Oh, so maybe it was murder. So it wasn't... Uh, I'm... Uh. If that's what happened, why didn't he just take the knife then? Why leave it there for us to see then, come back and get it later? Well, we can look into that more later. Also, I didn't even put two and two together. I was like, her wound looks a little weird. Duh, because the... 
the knife sticking out of her was gone. I don't know why I always thought it was a scalpel and not a knife. First, I want you to have a look at something else. What? Don't you remember what I said? I found two things. There was the knife and this. The key for K. Hey, this is that key. What do you mean that key? We found it in the Golem Bay. Didn't have any idea what it was for then though. But Alice said it might be important so she'd hang on to it just in case. So Alice should have had this, right? Yeah, so that's what Dio got off her body. And now Dio's got it. Yeah. Oh, so he wasn't getting anything off Luna's body. He was getting that off Alice's body. So when Dio took the knife, he also took Kay's key. So he didn't care about Luna. He just saw Luna dead and was just like, fuck it. Wait. Kay's key? Oh, man. Also, I did not catch that. You couldn't figure it out from the shape. Oh, okay. <laughs> What do you mean? I thought she was about to, like, oh, I knew about this. Get over here. A picture's worth a thousand words. Let me show you. She walked over to Kay's head, knelt down on one knee, and pointed to the back of it. You remember Yikes. this, right? Yikes. Oh, yeah. So that's it. It unlocks the suit, right? Yeah. give it a shot before I had time to prepare myself I shoved the key into the slot and twisted but <sighs> it's no good can't get it open why not maybe the suit is powered and it needs to be on in order to open or could it be that the axe, like, messed with the, like, misshaped the lock or something? With this axe in here. You're saying it shorted the suit out or something? I think so. At any rate, the key fits perfectly. I don't have any doubt it's for removing Kay's suit. Do you think Dio knew that when he took it? Hmm. I wonder... So I guess we'll never know what his face really looks like, on this path at least. Yeah. No way we could get that mask off with our bare hands. I wonder who he was. Well, I still haven't checked him over. Let's have a look. Maybe we'll find something that'll tell us who he is. She'd only been searching a few seconds before she stopped and pulled something out of Kay's robes. Look. What is it? Spray bottle with luminol in it. That's the one Timioji had. Yeah. Then does that mean Kay was the one who handcuffed them to the sink? We don't know yet. That was Dio, based on what was on her thigh. Why not? Kay might have taken the spray from Tenmyoji after he died. It's possible he made it through the white doors before we did, went to the infirmary, and got this. Hmm. Anyway, there's something I want to see. Turn off the lights. Are you going to check for a luminol reaction? Yeah. If Kay used the spray before he died, we might still be able to see it. There's blood everywhere in here, though. That's okay. If he didn't spray it, there won't be a reaction from any of it. Come on. All right, do it. Done. Thanks. Hmm. Just as I thought. Look. Dio's left wrist. Yep. The underside of his bracelet is glowing. Exactly. But why? Because there are traces of blood on it. Whose blood? We've seen five people with serious bleeding. The old woman, Alice, Tenmyoji, and these two here. I'm disinclined to think this is Dio or Kay's blood, though. See? If you look, it's been wiped off. Except for the luminol, the bracelet looks clean. 
Why would someone wipe blood off a bracelet after being hit with an axe or stabbed with a spear and then spray it with luminol? It doesn't make sense. And that leaves the old woman, Alice and Tenmyoji. Right. You remember what Timmyoji said to us in this room? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Please, just do it. Do you think Timmyoji had figured out that one of the bracelets would have blood on it? That would have meant he was looking for either Alice's blood or the old woman's. Hmm. I wonder which it was. No idea. But whatever the case. Tenmyoji seemed to think that whoever had this bracelet was Ciro Sr. Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Ciro Sr. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yeah. Whoa, wait. Are you saying that Dio is Ciro Sr.? I don't know. The only thing I can say for sure is that there's a possibility that Dio killed the other six victims. And who killed okay, Dio? Perhaps. Oh, oh, with the last of his uh, strength, because like we even sort of alluded to like, you know, when the body feels there's no more need for pain receptors, then the endorphins just rush through you. So he probably used like that last bit of like um, adrenaline to just kill Dio and then he succumbed to the like wounds. After he was attacked, he used the last of his strength. Another descendant of Species B. Huh? Nothing. Forget about it. Anyway, if Zero Senior was Dio, then All of this would be over. Jump cut and back from the jump cut. Woo! This awful game would be over. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Um, what? 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? That's what I said. What the hell is happening? That's impossible. Quark. Quark? Quark opened a gate? But his bracelet is whatever. We need to get back to the floor A warehouse. Hurry. I know I'm coming. Wait, this is genuinely unsettling. I thought they were just gonna come to the conclusion like, well I guess we have nothing left to do but just get out of here on our own and then What is Of all the people... Damn it, but... Yeah, of all the people... Luna would be most likely to be alive. If it's a situation where... She had the antidote for the turbo curanine. So she was knocked out and the muscle relaxant made it appear that she was dead. The bracelet comes off. But then 
she had the antidote on her. Because Alice is definitely dead. Quark has to be dead. Because, like, Quark, Clover, and Timmy OG, they're, 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 they're not going anywhere. D.O. and K. are dead. Like, I, I don't... Uh. There's no one here. Did they run off? Why would they run away? Hell if I know. How the hell did Quark open an A.B. gate anyway? Without a star key, he shouldn't have been able to get it open. You must have taken one from D.O. or K. before we got to the rec room. We know they went through a white door. Remember? We saw the footage in the security office. That means they had a star key just like we did. But you didn't find one when you searched them? Right. Oh. Well, maybe Quark's a suspect after all, then. You shouldn't write him off just because he's a kid. Maybe he knows how to use a lance or an axe. Come on. <laughs> That's impossible. You're being an idiot. It's much more likely he found the key card after they died. Oh, hmm. Then he wouldn't have to open a gate. He would just be able to get his bracelet and leave. All right, let's go find him. Any ideas where to look? Nothing. How on earth would I know where he might be? Hmm. Well, there's one place I'd like to check out. Come on. Do you know something I don't? Ah. The room Dio and K investigated. Right. Aren't you curious? Of course. Besides, Quark might be there. Yeah. All right, let's move. The door says director's office. Probably belongs to the director. I hope it has one of those chairs. Oh, come on. Chairs? You know, the folding ones that say director on the back. I've always wanted to sit in one and say stuff like action or cut or double decaf chai soy latte. Now. I'm not drinking one of those right now. Just drinking some sweet tea. It good. And that's what you think we'll find in there? <laughs> yeah. Aren't you well, excited? There could be anything in there. So no, not really. Yeah, what if Zero Senior was in there waiting for us? That would make things easy. We'd settle things right now and then get the hell out. Right. Okay, I'm going to open it. You don't need to keep asking me if Because this is where the hologram appears. Huh. There's no one here. That computer's been turned on. Yeah. Maybe Dio and Kay did that. What the hell is this? A lion. Is biting... A sun? It has a couple input fields for a user ID and a password. We probably can't use it unless we know what those are. Why don't you put something in? Sure. I'll give it a shot. Just as I thought. Might as well forget about this thing for now. We can't get anywhere without a password. Let's see if we can find any other clues. This is the director's office after all. If we turn the place upside down, we're bound to find something. Shall we? If I turned and headed off toward a bookshelf, 
leaving me alone next to the desk. I felt compelled to stay and found myself staring at the screen. A lion biting the sun. A lion biting the sun. A lion biting the sun. Memento Mori, if the knife lion ate the sun, remember death. If the knife lion ate the sun, could could this be the knife lion? Yo. Wait, so are there nine total, like, lions in the thing? I don't know. Then... Maybe. It says Memento Mori. Remember death. Memento Mori. That deal. Remember death. We're having a brain blast up in here. Mori, remember death. Memento Mori. Remember. So this would have been a story like, God dang, this one that happens late. Wait, do you want me to? All right, let, 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 let me check my, uh, my codes here. Wait, what? Oh shit, was, was I supposed to? No, I have four bomb codes, first gate and second gate. Wait. The, the thing I have for first gate kind of looks similar to the little, like, the, the golem code names. That could be a username. It does fill out the full field. And then... Yo, let's go. I actually held my breath on that. So the thing we got from K and the thing we got from Luna? I think 
those were? I know one of them came from K. Hmm. I can't remember. Regardless, I don't think I'm going to need these codes now. I'll just strike them through. Okay. Anyway, stun silence. Fi. Come, come over here. What's wrong? I... I got in. What? How did you figure out the login? I... I don't know. I just... I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it means I just knew it. You gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? doesn't have anything to do with this you sure it might what I don't uh look just forget about that come take a look at this sure fine just let me get right on that are you out of your damn mind Tell me what the hell is going on here? Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? We continued to yell at one another for several more minutes. But no matter what Fi asked me, I could never come up with an answer that satisfied her. Eventually she seemed to give up. Fine. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. Alright. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Yeah, that is very encrypted. Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. I gave her what she asked for. GTF DML016. Her search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, Phi opened one. Golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a Golem? Looks like it. So was GTF DML016 a Golem's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. What the ever-loving fuck? Luna is a what? I thought it was gonna be K Sigma. I what? I because K had the face thing. I don't. Um, help. Luna. Yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. It says, appearance after application of ABT. ABT. 
ABT. There's this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Oh my god, Luna wasn't. She wasn't paranoid or having a dream that that Sigma was a robot. She saw the white and thought she was one of them or he was one of them. So then would that mean K is one too? Because if I were able to get like both parts of this code or like the, the username and password from both of them. But no, K, there was red blood on the armor there. That wasn't that wasn't white. So that wasn't ABT. Oh shit. I, mm. But no, I was, cause I was about to say like, does that imply that he was the real one and Sigma is a clone, but Luna ran the thing and it said that Sigma's 100% human. Even feels like real skin, with paws, a little bit of hair, a few pimples, scars and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of... I see. Luna was a golem. And DML016 was her product ID. <laughs> that must have been what Golem was trying to tell us when he was stopped. Mm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Mm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Currently operational. What? Executing special mission? You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So why did Zero Senior want a robot as a participant? You think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happened, she was supposed to correct it or something? What if it was some kind of voight Kampf test? A what? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. Whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot. That might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game. All of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room. And the eight of us are the people outside it. Hmm. Well, like I always say. It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. When did you figure it out? That she was a golem, I mean. Right now. I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with Golem in the pantry. You said something about how this game might be sort of like the Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew it? Yeah. Look, forget about that. 
Mm-hmm. See Luna's status? Yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational. Executing special mission. Whoa. Wait, what the hell? Luna's dead. You think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain. Until what is happening? So is she killing? I, I don't. What? All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Of course! Luna's the one who opened the AB gates! That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What do you mean? What are the last three digits of her product ID? 016. Oh! <gasps> Oh shit. I thought it was a numerical name thing like in Danganronpa. But then how would Clover know the ID? Cuz she wasn't she never saw the she wouldn't know that. Then where have we seen that before? No. No, I don't believe it. Are you saying it was Luna who handcuffed Clover and Tin Miyoji? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? The crew quarters, of course. I remember. I mean, y'all running low on time. Okay, that's creepy as fuck. So that confirms. I was up here like, oh, so Luna must have just injected herself with the thing. No, Luna's a goddamn robot. We were right. Yeah. Why? Why would Luna... And I... I trust him. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Let's go. The game hasn't stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Right. Off we go then. Oh yeah, forgot about this thing. Right, Luna's bracelet. Yeah, well, her bracelet. There's three in this room. Then she shouldn't have been able to enter. Whose bracelet did she take then? I stepped outside and set Luna's bracelet down, then headed back into the AB room. Remain until polling closes. All right, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Wait, 
Sigma. Huh? That's fucking creepy. Luna? One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is going on? Why is Luna here? She's probably planning on participating in the game. You mean she's gonna take the bracelet and go into one of the other rooms? Yeah. How's she going to vote? Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. She's got 7 BP, right? Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. What? Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Then why is she doing this? Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And I... I trust him. Two, one. Sheet. If she wanted to kill us, she could. Screw it. She trusts me, I trust in her. Round three of the Ambidex game has been completed. We'll see the aftermath of this next time. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.